Hi, welcome. This is the energy for today, July 2nd. I hope you're doing well. Spirit, what is the energy for today, July 2nd? July 2nd. What is the viewer need to see in here, please? July 2nd. For July 2nd, please. Okay. And then this one. Okay, so... The first one out, the spiritual union. So this is good. Uh, this is about healthy connections, uh, a spiritual connection as far as soulmate or uh, perhaps maybe you're having a second chance at love with with a soulmate, maybe coming together, maybe even meeting that person. Okay, I feel like with this card, it, it's really associated to healing your heart and maybe you've healed from something and you're able to move on now. Or maybe you're getting this call to sort of uh, clear some kind of negative energy from your heart space so that you can uh, attract that, okay? Um, you got the emotional withdrawal. So going in deep, is there something there that maybe you might have walked away from? Uh, perhaps it's something that you're having to think about. Uh, with the emotional withdrawal, maybe there's a sense of missing or or feeling sad about something about a, a connection with someone um maybe you're going in deep and really searching for what is really true for you or what is honest for you in that sense of relationships now relationships could be love with this one it, it definitely could be love as far as spiritual union um but it also you know if you're not really having any kind of relationship problems it could be business you know you you partner up with business people or work or something like that okay so you have to take that as it resonates for you but there's something that you have to think about right here uh do you move forward with it do you stay where you're at um really going in deep so something i feel is sort of uh maybe even pushing you to go into a different direction with this seven um, of deception and envy here, um, are you in a situation where there is a lot of deception going on? Uh, maybe in the in the home, um, work, um, maybe even amongst friends. Also jealousy, you know. With that card, it's it's a hard card because there's that sense of not being honest. Maybe even having a feeling that you might need to pull yourself away from something that isn't really true to you, to your heart, your your soul. Um, maybe you're you're wearing a mask and you're somewhat on the outside. You look like you're okay to others, but on the inside, maybe you're holding back from something. Okay, and then you have the fulfillment of wishes. So. Um, Whatever this little struggle is, I do feel that by you sort of pulling yourself back and, and really taking time to feel what is going to be good for you, perhaps maybe you will move towards getting some kind of wish fulfilled. The fulfillment and wishes is really when things start to manifest for you. Those things that you haven't quite given up on, um, maybe you're looking for that new job and you finally find it. Maybe you want to leave a negative job, you know, that could be having a lot of uh, shady things happening or uh, lies or sabotage or something like that with the deception and envy, okay? Um, so, you know, and if it's not work, it could be vice versa. It could be family or love. Let's see what's at the top of the deck. Trapped in fear. Oh, are you trying to break free from something tricky? Um... But you're, you're somehow in your mind, you think you're stuck there. You think you're stuck in that dead end job or that maybe dead end relationship. You know, you have to take it as it resonates. But it's really about um, in your mind, you think that you, you're not capable of maybe having a fresh start or um, maybe just not confident in the situation. And you sort of know it, you know, Um a fear is really associated with not trusting and not having faith, maybe within yourself or the situation. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, there's awareness. So in order to get to that place where you get that fulfillment, you have to be aware of your thoughts. 
and right now your your thoughts are really maybe pinning you down to making a choice about something. Um, I do feel with the awareness there is that pull to get yourself out of that, okay? You got to dig deep is what I feel here with the emotional withdrawal, okay? So take it as it resonates for you today. We will take a look. Oops, sorry guys, that was me. Um, we'll take a look and uh, see what else we can find out here. Um, welcome, you guys. I hope you're doing well. Thank you so much for being here. Let's see here. Uh, okay, let's see. The, the spiritual union, maybe you do have a connection with like a twin flame or a soulmate. Um, are you lacking from it? Meaning, are you apart from this person and you really are missing it? Are you holding yourself back from that? Or are you deceiving yourself by staying in something that you know doesn't give you that feeling of a spiritual union? It doesn't give you that sense of feeling loved or something like that, okay? At the Six of Pentacles, you got the Six of Pentacles at the top of the deck, which I definitely do feel there's something there that um, maybe you're in that isn't quite being um, balanced or worked on on the same level. Uh, meaning you could be working at the situation harder or the per than the person is, okay? Um, and then you have the Nine of Wands. So this definitely could be that kind of energy where, you know, if you're in separation from somebody, whether you're, you know, married or boyfriend and girlfriend or even I feel like a twin, um, I do feel like with the Nine of Wands, there's that kind of... Um, need and desire to maybe heal something to perhaps move move from a block okay with the magician you really do have that power to balance something out um, but it takes your effort really with the magician whether this is your person or it's you um, I do feel you're seeking that spiritual union I feel like that you feel a loss from it from not being in it or maybe separated from it you know um, you know, if this is a relationship that you're trying to mend, there are ways to sort of mend the relationship, but it's almost, it has to be that equal give and take with it. Okay. You can't be the only one sort of, um, trying to make it work. In other words. Okay. Uh, let's see. What is the nine of wands? Nine of wands. Okay. So you have, um, you have the, uh, the page of swords so some sort of communication um maybe even this kind of learning learning that you know maybe you know something must have to end or you have to go in a different direction or focus your energy somewhere else it's all it's also i feel discovery um you know if you're holding yourself back in that dead end job or that dead end relationship but you really want to go forward and experience new things, which I do see here with the Ace of Pentacles. It's almost like you have to believe. Maybe you don't have that trust in yourself that you can do it. Um, what is the Ace of Pentacles, please? The Ace of Pentacles. What's the Ace of Pentacles here? What is the Ace of Pentacles? Okay. Is it going towards a new job or... Um, maybe, you know, with the Ace of Pentacles, it could be going towards a new job, but you're scared to. Um, also, let's see, you have the Justice, the Nine of Swords, Roycey. Oops, guys, Royce, Royce is down there. Um, and the Five of Pentacles. So, it's almost like, let's see, can you guys still see? All right. He's using my camera stand as a pillow he's a little bit too big sorry about that guys okay so uh, perhaps there's something here you're scared to maybe make a move towards or um like you really want to start over but is that is that a nervousness kind of feeling that i feel with the nine of swords and the five of pentacles that maybe you can't get out of a a, a partnership or maybe it takes really a lot of effort for you to get out of something here with the justice card um i feel like this is definitely in the idea stage meaning 
whoever this is, they're really thinking about making this change. But inside it, it's very hard to make that change. There's because there's worry, is because they did something to sort of leave you, leave you behind in the cold, or did you lose something? Maybe you're scared to start over again because you you don't want to lose uh, um, either a partnership or um, it's like you just don't want to fail at something again. It's what it feels like for some of you. Um, let's see. I want to know. What is the Nine of Swords, please? Nine of Swords. So maybe you've done a lot of things. Either you or your person have done a lot of things. And you're sort of um, worried about how to maybe get over it. Or if you can get over it. Or uh, something like that, okay? Let's see. What is the Nine of Swords, please? The Nine of Swords. So the Knight of Swords. The Nine of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Swords. So... Ooh, really taking that energy and that sense of confidence with the magician um, that, you know, you can do it. You can manifest in the beginning. You can wipe the slate clean and just go forward. Um, is this a marriage with the justice card? That definitely could be that justice. Maybe this is where everything that you've been waiting for is sort of um, wanting to come in, especially if you're like in a legal case or something like that. And it just seems to go really slow. Um, that's definitely that kind of energy of um, needing to sort of let things happen naturally. There is that order coming in. Maybe you're worried it's not happening enough or you can't get back to where you were before. Meaning to a happier sort of balanced kind of state. Especially with that, um, the ace, this one right here. Um, the spiritual union it's about a connection so um are you worried about it um there is going to be some kind of equality or some kind of fairness happening happening for you with the justice here um maybe this is you needing to take responsibility to drive your new beginning to get yourself out of loss maybe you do need that confidence okay um, I do feel that there's been a lot of unfairness that you've tolerated, um, which you really should not, you know. I, I do feel like there is that sense of something being dishonest or um, just really also in with legality. It's almost like there's just a lot of legal complications that you can't get over. And it, it's weighing heavy on you. Um, I have to say that if it is something like a divorce, uh, that maybe you're just, you know, not able to get out of very quickly, I do feel like there's a lot of stress, okay? Uh, maybe this is somebody that is very difficult to get away from. Um, perhaps because, you know, um, you know, uh, you've been together with this person for a long time or you just sort of feel bound to them, you know? Um, I definitely do feel like this is a karmic cycle that you're trying to get out of, whether it's you or your person, because I do feel that there is a union there waiting for you. And I don't feel you're in it at this point. I do feel there is things that need to be worked out with that nine of wands, okay? Um, yeah, for some of you, if you're trying to go to a new job, it's as if you sort of have to kick yourself into gear and really start educating yourself and uh, really learning new things uh, to get yourself out of this rut. Or there could be a situation where someone's trying to backstab you or meet, lead you in the wrong direction, but you really have to use your intuition to get yourself out of a negative situation to go into the positive one, okay? Um, I do feel like there's a sense of hurt, but really desiring equality and balance, okay? So what is the um, emotional withdrawal? So there's something that is really emotionally uh, weighing heavy on you. And it's it's like you need to get out of it. Because I do feel there's that sense of health. Something needed to heal. With all the green there, I, I'm just so drawn to the heart chakra. Emotions, you know. Um, emotional withdrawal. The king of swords. So this person is in thought. Um, I could sort of feel like this person's thinking um, maybe logically rather than in pain 
or suffering maybe they're thickening up in the skin as far as getting ready to make a move to to leave something very dark um this also could be where perhaps maybe you're you're sort of being guided to seek an attorney you know because i see the justice here and the king of swords could be that attorney for you seeking help or advice on how to get out of a situation um, if it's not a legal case, it's that somebody is thinking how to get out of this cycle very heavily. Um, what else with the King of Swords, please? Oh my goodness, the lovers. So needing to choose love, needing to perhaps choose a spiritual connect connection versus staying in one that is karmic, you know? Um, yeah, let's see. What is the lovers, please? What is the lovers? um the the two of wands and the eight of pentacles really working hard to get back together to that okay um there could be distance between you and your twin i do feel like the king of swords is really sort of trying to become more balanced and that's where we get the six of pentacles as far as their energy they have to be balanced to you and aligned to you really is is pretty much what it feels like mm. So let me see. Um, I, I feel like with the Two of Wands, there's plans that have been made. Um, things that want to come to fruition. Things that maybe you're still trying to manifest, okay, with the Two of Wands. What's the Two of Wands, please? What's the Two of Wands? So see, manifesting a, a return, a reunion, a ceremony, a um, they said ceremony so wow okay maybe a union you know divine timing i do feel that maybe there have been some kind of words of maybe marriage or a celebration amongst each other um but there you're you might be at a distance from it you know maybe separated from it um you got the page of cups and the hierophant and the king of cups so you're going your person either you or your person is almost going through withdrawals of their life, okay? Um, seeing all the bad things that they maybe been holding themselves in, maybe finding that deceit, you know, that, that thing where maybe they deceit, they put deceit in, inside of themselves. How can I say that, okay? Um, they've deceived themselves, you know, by living in things that are not healthy. So maybe now they're starting to realize, okay, I need to really find this kind of love for myself this kind of happy um not be scared of having like this kind of love or emotion or um even the sense of stability with someone you know when you love somebody unconditionally and it's like a twin flame if one is not balanced it's almost like they just don't feel adequate enough you know the one that's missing the one that's at a distance from you they don't quite feel adequate enough to come together but there is something here changing because i do see the king of swords looking at the situation trying to figure it out or maybe now maybe recognizing or knowing that they need to move away from something and i do feel it's god here with the hierophant because it is a spiritual union it is god um leading you to perhaps you know shed all this negative stuff so and and that takes having love for yourself, you know, to be able to follow your intuition, to be at peace, to not worry about the worry and the conflict of how things are going to turn out. Maybe you have children you're worried about, okay? You are your person, okay? But look at that. You got the page of cups. So there is some kind of wanting to reach out, even energetically, guys, you know? Um, so perhaps there is a union a reunion in store for you in divine timing and you really do have to have patience uh, because i do feel with all these cards it's about healing uh, so maybe it's divine masculine or divine feminine that's really going through that that healing stage okay um let's see here the hierophant also you know it's about society it's about community um and and you know beliefs and and things like that but you know your beliefs are changing they change every day you're not meant to really stay in that same place is what they're saying uh, what is the deceit and envy are you 
really um, with the, the nine of swords and nine of wands, um, are you stuck in a situation, even the five of pentacles, are you stuck in a situation that you really can't get out of? There's a lot of conflict there. Um, but see, oh, very good. This is somebody who's working on it. The seven of wands and the six of wands. There is success there. You know why? Because someone is going deep. Someone here is going deep with this magician card and doing the work, standing up, leaving oppressing energy, leaving the worry, the loss. Maybe this is somebody who's lost money before in a business, you know. Um, there is definitely that sense of victory and success over envy. So I do think whoever this is, they're thinking methodically in that sense of using logic rather than fear and maybe this feeling of losing. Um, I think they're taking their time to really think. With these two cards, it totally changes. Um, you know, it's been a, it's a long road. It's a long struggle is what I see. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. Um, I think it's because the mask is coming off just like this. Maybe this is your person or um, you that's taking off the mask to really see all the deceit that's been around you. Um, maybe even letting go of materialism, guys, and becoming more aware of spirit and God and this connection that you could truly have. But it, it's sort of fearful as well because it's unconditional, they said. Okay, um, so what is the wish fulfills? fulfillment wish fulfillment please i mean i feel like that's gonna happen for you six of wands and the seven of wands oh your wish fulfillment is to take action and to communicate and perhaps travel and come back together with this situation or this person to create some kind of balance for you you got the two eights out um the eight of pentacles the eight of wands really about balancing something okay uh, give me one for the Eight of Wands, please. The Eight of Wands. What's the Eight of Wands, please? Uh, the Hermit. Whoever this is, they've gone in. It's that emotional withdrawal um, where, you know, you really have taken that time to listen and, and think about everything and perhaps heal yourself, you know. Uh, this could be somebody who's healing at this time, maybe even already healed, okay, what is the hermit, please? Um, it's it's that uh, it's that card of sitting back and just answering the call uh, of what you hear when you're in silence or meditation or even sort of taking a picture, taking a look at the big picture is what I mean, you know, with the hermit there. So what is the hermit? Um, okay, the sun healing, abundance coming in. The sense of confidence. It's a masculine energy too, this sun. Okay. Um, healing. And then you also have the wheel. So new good things coming in, guys. If your wish is to get into this union, I feel you got to keep manifesting it. You have to sort of work at it. You can't control the situation of the other party. But you can control your way of thinking. The way that you're putting energy out into the universe okay uh into god really um let me see here let's see here and i do feel for this person that maybe you're dealing with or maybe even you uh, there's that sense of just you know even being brought up the wrong way with the page of pentacles and the page of swords maybe told a lot of different information or even raised in a family that maybe doesn't even believe in divorce. That's hard if you're in sort of a religion like that. And you sort of have to be locked into this, you know. That could be a problem for somebody here, I see. Um, I want to know, what's the karmic cycle here? What's the connection with these souls, please? There are three, they say. Um, uh, that one... And that one. Okay, what is this cycle, please? The karmic cycle here. Okay, this one here. Okay, so um, leave the past behind. So you can't make new things happen if you keep dreading the past. Whether you've done something wrong to somebody 
or you just feel like, um, you know, everything's been done wrong to you as far as victim, you know, you got to let it go. The end of a learning phase. So perhaps this is a karmic cycle, guys, for somebody. Um, lost love. Is that your, your union, your spiritual union? Uh, and then materialism. So see, it had to do a lot with money. Maybe even marriage, you know. Um, let's see here. A significant love relationship. A rest and relaxation. And sudden change in progress. Sudden progress and change, sorry, and the transformation. This is somebody who's gone through a transformation, okay? Um, let's see. How is this story going to end? How's it going to end, please? The emperor, someone's taking charge. Stability. Um, not being sorry about things as far as maybe this is a person who's kept their head in the sand because in denial or... Uh, victim mentality okay um, it's almost like being grounded and knowing that you have to take charge of your own your own stability becoming stronger um, knowing uh, knowledge in the sense of knowledge so you could be learning new new techniques um, either it's skill in a skill or um, new techniques as far as spiritualism you know a god you know um, let's see here. The Nine of Cups. You could be recovering alcoholic here, okay? Or you or your person. Um, and there you go. Maybe coming together, union, destiny, uh, becoming whole again. And the Tower. So they could be going through it now, um, but it's going to end with all this stuff sort of leaving them abruptly. Uh, from a time of being in despair for so long, it's going to change abruptly, okay? Um, I think it has to do with money as well. Um, not being so driven by money, materialism, okay? It came out right here. So, yeah, a lot going on there. Uh, let's see here. Mm, let's ask this one. I'm just going to get it. Okay. How can they continue to manifest this reading, please? How can they continue with this reading? How can they manifest this? Or continue to manifest this? Okay. So, it says, what does your soul say? Hmm. I definitely do feel it says this. I definitely feel like there's this connection like no other. And you see how there's just like this energy of just wanting to be pulled to this. So what does your soul tell you? Um, yeah, I think you got to listen to that soul. You got to speak up. That's your throat shock right here. You got to sort of speak up and, and voice it. Okay. So let's see. Uh, what is the mystery of love? What's the mystery of love? That's what these cards are called. They're called mystery of love. Um, so lucid dreaming. Okay, so maybe you're joining your twin when you're sleeping. You see each other when you're asleep. Um, it's our bodies that need sleep. It's not our souls or our mind. So you might want to start uh, keeping a dream journal so that you could see uh, or take down messages what you're telling each other in your sleep. You come together in your sleep, okay? Uh, yeah. And, and to the point where you can see each other. It's really interesting. Um, I want to know, what is the angel message here, please? What is the angel message here? What's the angel message? Okay. So, you have Azure. Your desired outcome will occur in the very near future. Have patience and faith. And don't try to force it to happen. And I think I might have said all of those things in here, somewhere in there. Don't rush it. It will come. Um, this is part of your destiny, really. I do feel it's part of your destiny. Um, and it's definitely God working together because it is a spiritual connection here for you. Okay. Uh, let's see. I want to know... What is their abundance message? To say abundance, what is their abundance message? Um, what is their abundance message here, please? 
Okay, so it says here, a companionship. Giving someone your complete presence is an astonishing gift. And that is unconditional love, guys. That is what you or this person is craving. And I do feel you will get this, definitely. Okay. Um, but it's also the power of your mind if you can allow it to come in. Um, I want to know what pertains to this reading here. Okay, these two and that one. Okay, so. Okay, so the first one here. The cross, sacrifice, down for the cause, release, let go, giving up, surrendering. You got to surrender to something toxic or some kind of karmic relationship, okay? That's what that's telling you. And it is a nine, so it, it is starting to form. Um, and then the dynamite, excitement, passion, action, surprise, suspense, destroy. Um, uh, let's see, just really fast change it says firecracker short fuse a blast sudden and fast and that's what the tower is saying um once they're free they're gonna move towards you fast okay the crew so in sync uh, uh working together as a unit team leadership co-creating um you know coming together working well together it's because you're balanced it's because you're aligned together that's why you'll be able to sort of come together, okay? Um, so let's see here. Um, let's do this one right here. Okay. What is the spirit message here, please? The spirit message. What is the spirit message? Okay, this one here. It says uh, synchronicity. You are noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending you. People, in, people and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from, from spirit to help you for a specific reason. So pay attention to the people you meet. You might be meeting somebody new if you're not at a distance from someone. Sometimes we don't know our twins, but you know you have one there, okay? Um, this is also, I feel, with the, uh, they're saying with uh, the lucid dreaming, you could probably get signals and synchronicities in the lucid dreaming, okay? Um, so yeah, pay attention to those things, really. Okay, so let's end it with the Quan Yin for this reading, please. What is the Quan Yin? What is the Quan Yin? Okay, it's that one. So let's see here. Okay, it says, Ride with the spirit unknown. I have been with you, my wild one, throughout every challenge to your free spirit, encouraging you to rise, believe in you. When you were shamed, denied, judged, or ridiculed, I was there with you. I went through it all along with you. I knew that the time would come when you would be ready to rise above those experiences to let your heart be free. Now is the time. And I do feel this person wants to be free, especially with that emperor right there. Okay, I think I even said that in here. So there you go. I do hope you liked the reading. I hope this helps somebody. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate you guys. Stay safe and blessed. Continue to pray for each other. And I will do the same, guys. So have a beautiful day. I'll see you tomorrow.